Welcome back, everybody, to another el episode of Welcome to the Club. This is my playthrough of a Doki Doki Literature Club. Literature Club. Um, in the last episode, we read some poems, we made some poems, we found out there's a festival going on, and so today we are going to be starting off writing poems. Uh, so we're going after Yuri. Like this is a dating simulator, just in case you're jumping in halfway through the series, which you know what happens sometimes. But we're going after this girl named Yuri, girl, quote unquote, named Yuri. So we're gonna go by it's because she likes dark stuff. I don't know what effulgent means, but she likes it. Kitty, um, empty. Oh Jesus. All right, I'm, man, I'm starting to worry about Sayori. I really actually am starting to worry about Sayori. Ah, man. In the last episode, we chose to walk home. Like, you, she's like, hey, who would you walk home with, me or Yuri? I chose Yuri. She seemed kind of dejected by it. And her poems are dark. Ah, I mean, ah, man, rah. Yeah, we're gonna keep going on that Yuri path, though. Uh, cage. Uh, massacre. Um, graveyard. Um, frightening. Uh, anxiety. Uh, oof. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was tears. Cry? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, Sayori. Sayori. Are you okay? I'm really starting to worry about you. Oh my god, I don't care about her. Starscape. Tragedy. Ah, oh my god. Ah. Disaster. Depression. Oh my god, dude. I don't know, man. I'm my heart is starting to break. I might have to switch over to Sayori. I'm really, I'm no joke, starting to worry about her. Broken. Shame. Oh my god, dude. Sayori, something's up. Uh, cat biff. All right. And sometimes this game drops down to like four frames per second and I have no clue why. Like, this, I don't know what's going on there. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and not picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Passion would actually make more sense, but yeah. remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you'll be willing to help me out with the festival too. I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, uh, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our our part of the festival. It's a whole day of school where you play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Sounds like a bit. You sound like you sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do you usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? What is that supposed to mean? I mean, personally, I'm not much of a squid eater. I don't really eat a lot of seafood. I've had calamari. You of all people? Eh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean, you of all people? Oh, because she's into tentacle porn. I get it. Because it's right in your name. I don't get it. That's like some kind of Japanese something. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Now that I like. That I like. Break that fourth wall a little bit. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just focus on your own event for now, okay? Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyways. Excuse me? 
Where is Sayori anyways? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to... Ah, oh, man. This is gonna get dark. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh -huh. Eh, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Uh, maybe I should have chose her. Yo- <laughs> mm. Mm. Huh? Is everything alright? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine. See? Dory shows me a big smile. Ah, Sayori. I almost want to reload my last save. I should have chose her. I don't, I don't want her though, man. I don't want to choose her just because I feel bad. I don't fucking want her. I don't fucking hear you. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right. If you say so, I'm out of here. <laughs> I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she noticed anything about Sayori recently. I mean, usually she's all bubbly and stuff. Whatever, man. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Paul, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? I mean that she's being really down. Maybe I'm reading into a little too, uh, too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? Is it because you chose Yuri over her? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Yo, that's some, that's some depressed shit. Maybe there is something on her mind, but I'm surprised I'm not, uh, but I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Paul. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Paul. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dim dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her, and I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try to talk to her myself. Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with a person... What? Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Paul. Ah oh, man, I just wanted, dude, I just wanted a chill, laid back dating game. I didn't want to hurt one person by choosing another person. This isn't what I wanted. I thought this was going to be like a cute, dumb palate cleanser. How on earth would you come to that conclusion? God, is my character really that fucking stupid? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sori talks about you more than anything else, you know. Ah oh, man. Now I just feel like a fucking asshole. Game's a real downer. Like it went from being all chipper and shit to being these are girls aren't even real. She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. You're really laying it on thick, Monica. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine around me. Think about it, you Paul, you dumb fucking idiot, Paul. Why do you think she's such a bag of fucking sunshine around you, Paul? Oh man, this is getting deep. This is really fucking, this is gonna unzip me on fucking camera. What am I doing? Oh, no, you about zip me, game. God, you about zip me. Oh my God, this is getting too real. This is getting too real, I can't do this. Hmm. I can't do this. Oh my god. It's too real. It's too real. They've unzipped me. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Paul, you dumb fucking idiot. 
it's like it's like when I wake up in the mirror and this is the exact conversation I have with myself. Paul, you fucking retard. What are you doing? It's not any different now than it's always been. You're so funny, Paul. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you? What gave you the right game? Who gave you the right? Okay, who made this game? I'm gonna be writing a sternly written email. I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyways? I didn't mean to jump to conclusion. So you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try, try, try not to think about it for now. All right. Monica smiles meaningfully. Monica, you've ruined everything. You, you, you've really goofed up everything. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. I should have chose Sayori. I mean, she's not so bad. She's cute, I guess. But I already, you know, started rubbing my chocolate on Yuri's lip. Oh man. I just wanted a chilled, laid back dating sim, man. Come on. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. Now watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she keeps she's keeping her voice so quiet I can't hear from her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? That I'm letting this weigh me down so much. Look, dude, it's 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 hard. Making these decisions is hard, my man. You're in high school, you don't have shit figured out. You know, I made plenty of mistakes. High school is fucking difficult. Figuring out the opposite sex is difficult. I mean, figuring out your, you know, your own sex is, is difficult. I mean, it's it's just I think dating in general doesn't matter if you're straight, you're bi, you're gay. Like it's just, it is it is so difficult reading other people's feelings. Like, especially when somebody's been your friend for so long, like it's, it's hard to break your mind out of this person is my friend to now I wanna date this person. I mean, especially when it's kind of one-sided and sometimes you don't see it until the other person shows an interest. Like for me personally, I've had that shit happen before too. Like she sees you as something that could be potentially more than a friend, but then, but you are too dumb to fucking see that. And then at, after a while it's too late. And then, you know, it's this whole thing, man. It's this whole fucking thing. God, fuck this game, fuck this shit. I should have played fucking Dream Daddy. This is bullshit. I hate this game. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I don't think I'm gonna go back and reload an old save because you can't do that in real life. I mean, I, I find that in a lot of games, like adventure games, I pick what I'm doing and I go with it because that's how life is man you you make a choice and you have to stick with it like I mean there's no reloading a save in real life I you say something and you can't take that back you can apologize for it but there's no fucking going back dude like you say something and that's, that's kind of it like it, like I I always say this the cake's been baked like you can't unbake a fucking cake dude like once it's baked it's baked you know and sometimes you just I mean, you can do your best to repair the damage that you've done, but other than that, like, sometimes you can't. I glanced around the room. Suddenly, I noticed Yuri peering at me from over her book. Yuri, oh my god, now I don't even know, man. Oh god. But she looks away as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord, so I have no choice but to approach her myself. 
By now it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in the one next to her own. Do you really think like that's the best idea, dude? Like Sayori's all fucked up over there, man. Like at least don't do it in front of her. Like and that's something I had to learn too, man. Fuck. But when you're young, you just, you really don't have that mindset, you know? Like you're, you're selfish. Like you, you really are selfish when you're young and it's something that hopefully you grow out of. And I can admit that I was the same way. You do something around somebody else and you, you, you hurt them even without meaning to. And it's just, that's one of those things that you, you can't take back. And no matter how much you apologize for it, it just, it is what it is. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How are you even able to tell what I'm thinking, uh, that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. <sighs> Not that I was staring at you or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. You said concern a lot. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Oh, it's not really that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Yeah, like you guys. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little bit off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Eh? Sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have just been friends for a long time. That's all. Oh, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe just reading into it, or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Paul, the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath the plain sight. Uh, hidden beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that Suori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside of her head, and she might not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too, and I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? I guess, but you don't need to put it that way. <laughs> We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that. She would be a, she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Ah, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyways, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, yeah, as long as uh, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyways. Dude. Man, I don't know if this is the best decision, but you gotta make it. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club, club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Who should I show, show my poem to first? Oh man, oh man. I'm actually going to uh, call it there. I, I know it's a shorter episode, but um, I don't know, man. Like that was, that was, that got pretty real. Like just not, I mean, obviously not real. It's a fucking video game, who gives a shit? 
Um, but you know, it, I, I say, I'll say out of all of it that I've played so far, that has been the best part of the game. Like that, I really fucking dug that. Um, if you're able to make me think like that, like that's really fucking cool. I'm gonna put the save thing right here. Hopefully I won't forget it. Um, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. I just, I, I thought that was really cool how they, they made you think about how you think you know somebody, but you actually don't. And even your own feelings, you know, it's not to get so mushy, but this is a dating simulator. I tried to keep, you know, because it was kind of frou-frou and fruity at first, I tried to keep it funny, but like, I, I realized that this episode got a little, got a little real. And I, I'm sorry about that, you know, it shouldn't have let a fucking game get to me, but it just, the writing was really good. Like, and that's something that I have to give like hats off to, to the developers of this game. Like that was some really good writing and that was really deep what they were talking about. Like if you actually sit there and think about it, that was really fucking deep. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed by it. Uh, but anyways, if you like the, this episode, please hit me with a thumbs up. If you uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Am I reading too far into this? Like, is this is the, uh, is this game just gonna flip back over and you know be funny nonsense? Is Sayori Sior gonna fucking pop out of it? Like now, I'm actually very interested in seeing where this goes next. I mean, I almost want to save Sayori last to I want to share my poem with her last so that she can be the last person that I talk to um, because sh talking with her at this point is I don't know I don't know like she uh, I don't know I, I whatever whatever fuck it um anyways like comment subscribe you know whatever the fuck I'm supposed to say at the end of this video who gives a shit um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.